Now let's talk about animated decals. So for making animated decals, the procedure is slightly different, it requires a few more steps. So for this example, we'll be taking a logo and putting it across the tail. So it has to be on a non-animated part, which is the main vertical stabilizer and the rudder. So first let's import the SVG of my logo. Like we did earlier just with this one. Now make sure you're on frame 41 for the rudder so that it is flat. Oops, not 40. 41. So that it's flat and straight with the rest of the tail. Now let's join this object. First by converting it to a mesh and then joining it. Just like that. It's also duplicated. Same procedure basically as uh, the SVG that we did on the fuselage earlier. There we go. Now here it's a bit tricky because you want to take it just far enough but not too far. So let's take it till about there. I wouldn't say you should cross the middle line here. Something like that should do. So now let's first do it with the tail center which is this part right here. And also let's duplicate this object by doing shift D and do the same thing with the rudder. So now we have two of them like this. Now when dealing with the rudder, there is of course a gap in the middle and you may get a lot of extra vertices that come out like this. Now whether you delete them or not really depends on the logo because when you curve the, the rudder of course, oh we need it to go the other way. The inside part slightly gets revealed just like that so whether you want it to actually curve with it or not is completely up to you but for this logo I will be deleting those few faces on the inside as well and for that I think I will take these two and do shift H which will hide everything else so then I just have this part to deal with Now when you're done working with deleting these faces over here, as you can see I've gotten rid of all of the ones that were curving towards the inside, uh, do the command alt h which will reveal all of the hidden objects. Unfortunately this will also reveal the stuff such as that we don't want such as the, the rivets and the livery uh, parts. And here we are. Now what we'll do is we'll take this uh, part which is on the rudder and join it with the rudder. Now as you can see when we play the animation it actually moves with the rudder which is exactly what we want. Now follow these steps to finalize this uh, animation basically in some sense. So you go to the animation tab up here and you go to object, animation, bake action. Now first we need to find out how long the animation of the tail is. So we'll go to the non-linear animation page on the top left and let's look for rudder percent key. Here it is. This is the name of the animation of the tail. And this as you can see lasts 81 frames. Technically it should be 82 since 41 is the middle one. 
so let's just bake it for 82 frames animation big action let's do 82 visual key con clear constraints and clear parents the first four need to be ticked and click ok there we go and now you want to go to edit mode in the material menu select whatever the material of this logo was i didn't make it uh, livery decals yet so it's still svg mat click select right click and then click separate by selection so now you have a separate object with that animation and now you can basically uh, rename this this is your this thing now so get rid of uh, fuselage and change this to livery decals and change this to livery decals and UV map this if you go back to layout as you can see here it is now you go back to the animation page and you just want to do a little bit more work just to finalize this let's change the name of this object to a uh, tail decal just like that here you can see tail decal you want to click on this little button down here Now here we'll just click the down button and as you can see it made an NLA track which means non-linear animation track and let's change this to a name of our choice so tail decal animation and you want to note this down quickly into let's say a notepad file and that is basically your animated decal done you want to follow the same procedure with this decal which I'll not do right now since this is just for the tutorial 